Welcome cuties, let's create. Today I'm gonna to be doing a marker challenge, or I guess a color challenge. I pre-picked these out. I have Indian blue. I have one that's named P and then pastel pink. I also picked out three colored pencils, orange, peach, and blue. I picked these out by closing my eyes and randomly picking them out. And um, I know this is, it's, to me it's a three color challenge, but in hindsight it looks like a six color challenge. <laughs> and why I'm only considering this a three color challenge is because I recently learned that I really like shading my marker, my pictures that are colored in marker, I like shading them in colored pencil. And so I wanted to use colored pencils just for the shading part. And I kind of forgot that as I was kind of playing around with colors. Um, so I looked at these colors and I was trying to figure out what really came to mind. And something that came to mind is kind of a girl who maybe worked at a, you know, a, um, I'm trying to think what they're called, like a diner, uh, like an old school fashion diner. And so that's kind of what came to my mind is something like that. And then another thing looking at the colors is a fairy. And so I kind of toyed around with the idea of maybe making a fairy with, um, I've seen a lot of artists use like flowers as the dresses. I guess Tinkerbell is like that. But anyway, and I kind of figured I do want to do a fairy picture because I, if you notice, I have a mythical creatures and fairies, fairy tale stuff. I have a section for that. And so I want to save that for a different um, video. So I went ahead and decided to go with the server. And I kind of wanted to make her a little rounder. I have noticed that I have been really sticking to very thin petite girls and what I want to get better at is drawing various sizes, various colors, various ethnicities. I want to get better at just drawing everyone because you know not everyone is a skinny white girl. <laughs> That sounds terrible, but that's just what I've noticed that I've been drawing. And so I kind of wanted to give her, you know, some curves and make her a little thicker. And I, um, I pictured her to have dark skin and, but I didn't have obviously those colors. <laughs> so as I was looking and sketching, um, I was trying to think of the colors, but I was saving that until after my sketch. So I I don't know why, but I don't like to do the face first. I have done that in the past and I don't I don't know why. I just feel like my faces don't turn out. Um and I don't really get a grasp until I get the clothes done or even get the hair done so that excuse me that way I know if the hair is over the eyes or you know I can resituate them this one I went for a typical just button-down shirt and gave her a apron to you know put her pens and her notepad and and then I gave her a skirt and Again, if you notice, I said this in my last video, I have just the simple little like curves or, you know, squiggles where things would bunch up and I think it makes it a little more realistic. This one, I didn't have, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with her hand because I wanted to do something different. 
but I ended up just doing the normal hand that I always do. I That's something else I need to work on is drawing different hand positions. I don't know why, it's just very difficult for me. And I, if you go on my website, I will post the digital art. So what I've been doing is every art piece that I have um, been drawing, I have also taken a picture and I have recreated it digitally. I'm not very good at digital art yet. I want to get better at it and I'm still learning and figuring out how to really draw and what effects to use and stuff like that. So it's still a work in progress, but I end up drawing it and as I was drawing the one hand that's holding the tray, it looked very tentacle-like. It was, it was, it was bad. It was really bad. So, I can't. I just, yeah, just enjoy the struggle. <laughs> um. So anyway, so I really liked the way she looked, and I thought she was looking kind of cute. So, yeah, keep enjoying. So if you notice, I started coloring. This is, I was trying to figure out colors and I was like, well, I don't really have a skin tone. Oh yeah, I have this colored pencil. And so I drew the sketch with the peach color, but, and then I was gonna figure out the colors and I was like, oops, I forgot that these markers bleed through cardstock. And so I stopped with the color and later I will be getting, um, a index card. So here I am finalizing the drawing and now making it official. <laughs> and I decided to give her skirt stripes and cherries and I thought it was very cute and I I just really like this sketch and I think she turns out cute. I like her freckles and yeah, I think she's cute. I didn't want to bore you by having you watch me ink the whole thing, so I went ahead and inked it, and I drew two legs for her, but I noticed that they were like totally in a weird position, so that's why she has like three legs, but one of them I tried to white out, but it didn't really white out very well, so that's why she has three legs. So here I'm using the index cards to get a sense of what colors I can create. By mixing colors, um, I wanted to see if I could blend the colors, and I really honestly struggled. <laughs> I, I couldn't, because I noticed that it, it, it makes the other color look weird. So like, with the dark color, if I went over with the light pink, I noticed it started like, I don't know, making it blotchy. And I thought that was weird. Um, I had, I just, yeah. So now what I decided to do is I wanted to see what the colors would look like when I shaded them with the colored pencils to kind of see, okay, the blue, I can obviously use as shadows. The orange, maybe I can use as highlights or, you know, the warm tones of where the light is hitting them. So I then, with those colors, and I, yes, it did bleed. <laughs> 
so you'll notice in future videos that little bleed mark so but I decided to give her the light pink skin I didn't want to go too dark and then I decided to give her blue hair because yeah and in a rule of thumb you don't want two colors to really be touching so that's why she has a dark pink shirt because I didn't want a blue shirt to be touching her blue hair. So that way you can see where the hair stops and the shirt stops. I went ahead with blue stripes and as I was drawing it, I'm like, oh, this would be really cute in this color. So the colors that I actually like envisioned as I was drawing this are gonna be in my digital painting on my website. So you can see that there. And let me know in the comments if you guys would like me to open up shop to um, be able to purchase prints. So let me know and I don't know, I'm always curious of what people would like and what they're fine with just watching so and I always am open to different suggestions of ideas of things that you would like to see me create or challenges you'd like to see me draw continue watching to see how she turns out Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.